up when they drop. Can't let twist, let's trail the top. Hit green on the scene, call it cream of the crops. I got a team with a dream, they be scheming a lot. What's good, YouTube? Kenny VX back in the head out, hoping it did out for the crit out, y'all. Yo, how many people seen The Gobbler? What'd you think of it? I laugh my ass off making that. It was all in fun. But I laugh my ass off making that. With that being said, and all the negativity going around on YouTube, I thought I would uh, bring something a little bit uplifting. This video was sent to me by my best friend Matt, and I'm not exactly sure what it is. He just said that he had made a video for or about his son. Um, his son does suffer from cerebral palsy, and he sent it to me and said to go ahead and react to it. So we're just going to jump right into it. This is Matt and his son, Zach, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe Zach just turned 16. Let's get into it. Hello, YouTube. Errs, whatever you guys call it. I feel like I need to do this. There is so much negativity going on in the world today. And the most positive thing um, happened for me 16 years ago um, as of Tuesday. And there was a little boy that... Happy birthday, Zach. That was blessed in our life. Um, it changed my world and changed everything. And for doubting, doubters, um, people who worry, people who fear, I just resort back to the trials, the errors, the hurdles that he had to overcome. And my little man... Zachary, as you can see, turned 16 on Tuesday. Uh, just so you know, the socks are on his hands because uh, he likes to chew his nails for some reason and chew them pretty badly. Yo, know, I can say, uh, being this man's best friend, he he lives and breathes for that little boy, man. Um, everything that he does is for him. He is a very, very good father. I know that he is, has been going through his own trials and tribulations here lately, but one thing I can say about Matt, man, he's always optimistic. He always continues to push through, push the boundaries, and uh, he just tries to look at the, the upside of everything. He's a very inspirational person, a dear friend of mine, one of the few people that I can call at the spur of the moment and need him and if he's able to he'll drop everything and he will be there I, I just wanted to touch on that how much of an inspiration he is ha and has been to me um just as he's talking about how inspired he's been by his son you know the trials and tribulations that he's been through and had to push through i know that inspires matt and there's probably times where he thinks to himself you know if zach can do this or if zach can do that i can do this and i can do that and he's got to do that for Zach and the rest of his family and he does he does man he, he was he was down with COVID for a while and he pushed through that um, he's going through some other issues now and he's working through that as well so not to mention this guy fell off of a tow truck <laughs> twisted his ankle and the first question that he wanted to know was if he could get back to work so turn 16 um, overcame all odds that were put against him. And it just uh, lets you know the true power that an individual can have and, and what God can give to those um, around you, to yourself, uh, by praying and uh, believing in the Lord. Um, you know, the amazing hurdles that we have come technology-wise um, since 2006 is when he was born and to now. And he is a true inspiration to my life. Um, and if there's people out there saying, of course, you're his dad, that's how you feel. We all know that you've heard stories, seen stories. Um you know, watch the news, whatever, of what 
horrible stories that they were that parents themselves, mother or male, have done to their children or turned their back on their children. And, you know, those were children without giving, you know, those are what you would call children that were fully functionable, unlike children that have. I'm not sure what had happened there on the screen. Sorry about that. Listen, man, Matt, he's a good dude, man. I don't know if, I personally don't know what all would go into caring for a child with cerebral palsy, but I do know that it's a lot. Um, I had I had helped him out one time and stopped through there. I was picking up a vehicle when I was driving tow truck, and I swung in there real quick to help his son off the bus because he wasn't able to get there to do it. And, I mean, just that alone, I had to get him off the bus and then wheel him in the house and then help him from the chair to wherever he was going, you know, to be at the floor, the couch, whatever. I mean, it take, takes a special kind of man to care for a child with uh, special needs. I'm blessed, man. I, my youngest, he, he has autism. Uh, it's not real bad. It's bad enough, but it could always be worse. You know what I mean? Somebody out there always always has it worse than you. So, And you never know what somebody's going through either. Uh, special needs or cerebral palsy or, or anything of those natures, autism, the extra extent that you, a parent has to go through, the sacrifices that are made that aren't done robotically, I guess I would say is the word. No, you know, almost automatic, and you know what you would assume should be a thing that people would do for their children. They don't. In December, I ended up getting COVID, and I was the biggest guy of it's a flu, it's no big deal. Just wash your hands, wash who you touch, watch where you go. I can I can vouch for that because him and I both had the same views on this whole COVID thing. Um, we we kind of laughed at it. Neither one of us wanted to wear a mask. Uh, we didn't want the vaccination, but yeah, and then that that made him look at all of that completely different. I'm gonna stop and let him tell you though. Go, and I ended up, uh, you know, battling it in the hospital for three weeks, and it almost killed me. Between friends, family, and the prayers that were done, I made it through and got out of the hospital. I had to recover from the pneumonia. It damaged my lungs, both of them after the pneumonia has left. There was talk that I would never be able to go back to work, that I wouldn't be able to do normal activities. I'd be on oxygen the rest of my life. And the more and more I worried, the more and more I was concerned, the more and more I looked at my, my little guy, my champ, and realized that the hurdles and the obstacles that he was given, the odds that were uh, against him, and, you know, we're fighters. I've always been a fighter. I, I've always been someone who, you know, let's just grab the bull by the horns and let's just do this. And um, I am now, after two months, back at work full time, doing my job. I do have, you know, speed bumps and, you know, stuff that, you know, slow me down a little bit. But it's, it doesn't stop me from, from living my life and, and doing what I need to do. And uh, just a month ago, I found that I have a cancer mass as well another hurdle that you know we have to overcome but the blessings of what one individual goes through and what he had to go through trickles down to giving me hope and faith and strength to get through the hurdles that i'm giving and not allow myself to break down again he was born at 26 or 25 weeks uh, just shy of 26 weeks uh, one pound, 14 ounces. In the year 2006, the numbers were not great. They weren't good. Here he is, 16 years old, over 100 pounds, enjoying the world with us. And, you know, he's playing baseball, you know, again, needing help, assistance. He's in a wheelchair, but he's still out there doing these things. And it's, if he can do it, then I can do it. And you can do it. I know you saw my finger. You. <laughs> can do it you know and you know there are, don't limit yourself don't keep yourself down you know life's those hurdles that's what it is if life was easy it, it, it would be boring you know now, this is what life is about you overcome your hurdles you, you grab the bull by the horns you know you do the best setup that you can in life and you move forward i just want to let you all know that <laughs> um again the whole thing this little dude right here my champ can you give me a smile? Can you give everybody on YouTube a smile? Smile for him. Say hi. Can you give him an ague? 
Yeah, there you go. How about a good one? Can you get a loud one? Yeah, that's my man. That's my man. All right. So Matt, I'm sorry, Matt. Zach doesn't say dad or daddy or anything like that, but he does say agu, and when he says that, he is referring to Matt. Can you get berries? You don't want to do berries? How about Squiggy? Can you show them their Squiggy? You don't want to do Squiggy either? No? Okay. Listen, man. The man is a good father. Like I said, me being a, the father of a special needs child myself, I've had to take my son to many therapy sessions, and nine times out of ten, I'm the only dad in there. It's usually mom. Um... And Matt, he does a lot with his son as well. So we kind of can relate to each other on that note. Like I said, he has definitely changed my life around a lot. And um, it's nice to know that that child uh, was more than just a change of a young man growing up. It was a change of personality, change of expectations, change of, you know not giving up you know if he it was it was a, i didn't mean to interrupt him there but it was a whole way of living you had to change the whole way that you live everything that they do is for zach or they have to take him into consideration as to how it's going to affect him i'm talking about the food that he eats the clothes that he wears the special equipment he needs the chair that he's in uh they had to get a special van um that they're able to have the wheelchair access to get him on and off loaded so it's a lot man i mean just a lot of stuff that the the normal person wouldn't wouldn't think about and it's, it's inspirational you know like i said when you just when you think that you can't keep going man just think somebody out there always has it worse than you i gotta say matt was one of he was one of my biggest supporters for me starting a youtube channel he's been telling me to do it for a long time and i just never had and i'm glad that i did I'm glad that it did. In fact, Matt bought me this cool shirt, man. Look, hold up. For my birthday. He drove like an hour and a half down this way to go visit with his mom. And on the way through, he swung by and dropped this off for me. That was cool. So thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. It's one of my favorite shirts. This thing will make me look husky. And I'm not. <laughs> he ain't giving up. Then I shouldn't give up. And... You know, he's younger than I am, and if he's if he has the mentality to keep fighting, so do I. So you guys should have that same mentality through all this tough time. Keep your head strong, grab the bull by the horns, and keep moving forward. Because the only thing you can do. All right, guys, enjoy your summer. Have fun, but not too much fun. We'll talk to you later. That's cool, man. He didn't tell me what that was about. He just said that it was a positive, uplifting video. I thought that I would share it with y'all. Like I said, all the negativity going on. Hey, hey, guys, make sure you say I'm high today, all right? guy. I'm bald, yeah. All the negativity that's going on on YouTube, all the negativity that's going on in the world, I just thought that I would share that little bit of positivity with y'all. So I hope it brightens your day. It's been Kenny Reacts, back in the hit out, hoping to do down for the crit out, y'all. Thanks for watching.